Hey, it's Metacosis Perfectionators, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we'll talk about the difference between iron deficiency anemia and anemia of chronic disease. As you know, iron deficiency anemia is the anemia that you have when you bleed, such as GI bleed or after a car accident, etc. But anemia of chronic disease or chronic inflammation, you have it after a chronic inflammation, such as the famous rheumatoid arthritis. So here is iron deficiency anemia and here is anemia of chronic disease. We have talked about them in detail in my hematology playlist. Iron deficiency anemia causes iron loss, low dietary intake, and bleeding. Anemia of chronic disease, chronic inflammation such as rheumatoid. And of course, you know the mechanism. We're trying to hide the iron away from the inflammation or from the bacteria. What type of anemia is it? Microcytic anemia. Usually, it can start as normocytic and then it becomes microcytic. Anemia of chronic disease is microcytic and sometimes, actually most times, it's normocytic. Serum iron, it's called iron deficiency. So there is low serum iron. When there is low serum iron, what's gonna happen to the ferritin? It's gonna be low. Ferritin is always opposite to transferrin or TIBC. So when ferritin is low, TIBC is high. Cool. Percent saturation. What's the saturation? It's the serum iron over the TIBC. What happened to the iron? The iron decreased. But what happened to the TIBC? It increased. So the ratio will go down. And that's why the saturation or the percent saturation is low. How about the soluble transferrin receptor assay is usually high? And this will be a huge difference between iron deficiency anemia and anemia of chronic disease because the soluble transferrin receptor assay is normal in anemia of chronic disease. Let's go to anemia of chronic disease. We're trying to hide the iron away from the inflammation or from the bacteria. So the serum iron will be low. We're trying to hide it. Where do you hide it? I'm hiding it in storage units and the macrophages. So ferritin will be high. TIBC is always opposite to ferritin. So when ferritin is high, TIBC is low. How about the percent saturation? Iron over TIBC. What happened to the serum iron? It decreased. What happened to the CIBC? It decreased. So what's going to happen to the percent saturation? It could be normal. But when iron decreases even more than TIBC, it's going to be low. If these iron studies are confusing to you, watch my video on iron studies in my hematology playlist. Reticulocyte count. The iron is not available. The iron is available, but we cannot use it. If you cannot use it, you will not be able to form mature red blood cell or even the immature red blood cells. So they will be low in either one. EPO level is normal in iron deficiency anemia unless it's really, 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 really severe and starting to cause hypoxia. Now EPO may start to go up. EPO is low in iron deficiency anemia because one of the mechanisms of the actual disease is low EPO, like that's what started it. Hepcidin. Hepcidin is normal in iron deficiency anemia, but it's high in cases of anemia of chronic disease, and we have talked about this before. Bone marrow. Decrease iron stores, increase iron stores. Yeah, we're trying to hide the iron away from the inflammation or from the bacteria. RDW, red cell distribution, with, is elevated in iron deficiency anemia, but it's normal or clinically useless for anemia of chronic disease. Treatment of iron deficiency anemia. If the patient has no iron, give the patient iron orally or intravenously or intramuscularly. Now, anemia of chronic disease could be due to an underlying rheumatoid, so try to treat the underlying disease. It could be due to low erythropoietin. Give the patient erythropoietin, and a last resort is blood transfusion. There is a new playlist on my channel called Comparisons. You have all of the comparisons. Pseudogout versus gout, hookworm versus tapeworm, folate deficiency versus B12 deficiency. If you love mnemonics, you would love Picmonic. It's a visual mnemonic platform for students. And here's their picmonic about gout treatment, and we have talked about this before. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to picmonic.com slash VIP hookup slash Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. Until next time.